make it a better place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Hey everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings. Welcome to the monthly Project Life Blog Hop. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the end pages from June and then all of July. So I had a ton of photos to get printed. We um, went on vacation and we were on vacation for a week and then we did a few things and I really didn't do anything since our last blog hop. And then you guys know from the last blog hop when I shared June, I wasn't even completely caught up with June. So it was really starting to weigh on me and I really wanted to jump in and do it. And so I ended up getting 157 photos printed. And I should have started the video when I started the process of what I'm doing and I just totally didn't even think about it. I just jumped in. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did. So first I have both of my albums out because this one is January through June and I had the end of June to deal with. So I had photos that were missing. So I have that out and then this album over here is July through December. So what I did at first is I just took the pile of photos and I started separating them into to what I knew. So I knew I had some photos that were vacation so I just stuck all of those photos in a pile that I knew were for vacation. The other thing that I do is right when I'm sorting my photos, I start the three piles for my kids. So this is Kayla's pile, Violet's pile, and Andrew's pile. And they're just sitting there. And then I also have some um, memorabilia stuff. Like this is from a haircut for Kayla. So I just start piling their stuff in their own piles and then I deal with that afterwards. So I will deal with that when I'm all done dealing with our family stuff. The other thing I do is I print out and grab all my memorabilia and have it with my photos. So as I'm sorting my piles of photos, so I know, I, I knew in that pile of 157 photos, I knew I had photos for the kids. I knew I had our everyday photos for our everyday, you know, stuff that was happening. And then I knew I had inserts for the 4th of July, our haul, um, our vacation, and then all the extra things that we did. So let's start over here with June, and I'm going to pop you guys up on my um, shelf, and I'm going to go through the album at the end of the video where I've added all the embellishments, and I'll walk you through, but I just wanted to show you Right now, I'm just at the process of popping everything in. So, like, right here's an insert. So, this was an insert in the middle of week 26. Uh, we did something, and I needed an insert. So, you can see I've just picked my page protector. I've inserted the photos that needed to be inserted, and then I have to go back and add the extra cards, okay? So, then all of my daily photos are in and then some of my memorabilia is in so now uh, and then I also dropped in anything that was extra like this right here are cards for my promotion that happened in June and I'll probably do something a little bit different when I go back and start doing embellishments and doing this a little bit better so then I dropped in all my photos I did all of this. You guys have kind of seen all of this. So then for this album, I did the same thing. So I dropped in all my day photos. So these were just daily photos. I had my July calendar. I'm gonna fill that out when I go back and I start journaling and stuff. Um, I had this insert. This is an insert for the 4th of July parade that we went to. So this is an insert. This is a Stampin' Up! Uh, page protector it is design three so I did that and then this is an insert for when we left for vacation and it is a design a and I just cut it in half and then this is the rest of our week so then on week 28 we had a uh, insert where we went to the um, beat we went to the beach and I picked an insert this is design Y I dropped all my photos in and then you can see I still have to go back and add add stuff. And then this is the rest of our week. So then in week 29 I had lots of inserts. I had this half insert on this side. So I did the same thing. I took a design A and I cut it down. You can see there's a there's two photos in this pocket because I I'm not at the point where I'm embellishing or journaling 
or doing anything fun. I'm just dropping photos in where they need to go. So this is a design A insert and I cut it in half and then this was Kayla at the lake with her friend. And then on the other side of that is uh, the Becky Higgins FaceTiming thing that I got to do. I talked about that in last week's Wednesday video. And then this is my insert for Founder Circle. And you can see I have some items that I've printed out. I have an email and a screenshot of a photo um, that I printed out. And then on the back side of that is nothing so far. And then this is... I didn't get photos printed for the rest of this week or the beginning of this week because I got photos printed on I'm not sure actually why I don't have photos for the rest of this because I should maybe I didn't oh I know why because I didn't get them off all of our devices so I had pictures transferred up to this week because I was going to print photos this week and I didn't something came up in our family and I wasn't able to so then the rest of these photos are just on our cameras and our phones and all of that so one last tip I'm going to share with you guys before I put you guys up on my shelf and I show you the finished album is I keep a folder on my computer and it's just called Weekly Project Life. And that's exactly what it is. It is weekly stuff. This is Facebook um, screenshots. This is the email screenshot. This is the uh, photo screenshot. So anything that I'm going to need to print or anything like that up here is this uh, t teeth. Um, it's a diagram. So when I do Kayla's album, when I start working on her album, she's lost two of her teeth and I'll use this. So I just take a folder, I keep it right on my desktop, and anytime I do a screenshot of anything or I need to print anything, it goes right in that folder. And then when I sit down, like when I got my photos printed, the next thing I did is I sat down and I printed all of this just on a Word document. So I printed up several items from that folder onto a document and then I just printed it and then that's what's down here. So now that all, basically all my photos are in. So these are all extra photos. I have one last insert to do of us on vacation and that's what that is. And then the rest of this, I believe are extras, yeah. So that pile of photo are extra photos that I'm not putting in our album. This is one last insert. I have to pick an insert and put it in our vacation. And then this is all the memorabilia that I have left to put into our album. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish dropping all of that stuff in. And then I'm going to stick you up on my shelf here. And I'll turn the camera back on. And then I'll show you all the different things that... um. I've done to embellish it and I'm going to do all my journaling and I'm going to be caught up. My goal, my plan is to be caught up by this weekend. All the journaling finished, this album in our living room, this album, um, and just being worked on and then back to printing every week. So that's the plan, you guys. So I'm going to get back with it and then I'll be back in a few minutes to show you guys um, what I've done. All right, one more small update before I take you through my album. I have all the photos in my albums. Um, I have all my inserts in. So you can see this is an insert. I haven't labeled any of my inserts yet. This album, January through June, has gotten really thick. There's a lot of extra stuff in there. And I, I just can't help it, you guys. I don't know what to do. Like, I hate for them to be so full. But at the same time, like, that's only half the year. So... I don't know what else to do. So then over here for this side of the year, I just have one more insert. I just was looking through plastics and trying to figure out which plastic would work for this insert. So I have these photos and this insert to do. And then last night I did work on some journaling on this one. Like, yeah, this is a whole day later that I've been doing all this stuff. So I did like do some of my journaling. I typed out some of my journaling. Let's look for some typed journaling. Oh, so here's some. So I did some typed journaling. Um, I did a few things. I added like a few details to some of the photos. 
I just, you guys, my life is crazy right now. I have so much to do and I feel like I cannot be spending time working on my Project Life album, but at the same time, it's really important to me. So I'm just stuck, like I don't know what to do. So anyways, I'm gonna throw those photos in that insert and get that in there. And then hopefully the rest of it is just journaling. And then I can always go back and embellish a little bit later. I have a little trash pile here. I was using some vellum to do some journaling and I was going through a couple other things. So um, at least my photos are sorted and ready to go and I'm, they're in the pockets and then I guess everything else I can just get caught up on when I can get caught up on it. Okay guys, so I'll pop you up on the shelf and I'll walk you through how it ended up turning out. Hey everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and welcome to our monthly Project Life blog hop. So I wanted to share with you guys what I've done this month in the month of July for my Project Life album and I have to tell you guys I just have had no time whatsoever to work on this album and I have the itch to do project life really bad like I just want to take a day and sit down and do nothing but memory keeping and it ain't happening so let me just show you where I'm at this is my first album for this year it is um, January through June and um, it's a little thick I have some things still in here that like I'll show you, like back here, like I have this sitting in here because I just was working on stuff. So let me show you. Um, I did go back, remember I had journaling and stuff that I needed to get done back here. So I got journaling done from, I think it was about here, which was the beginning of April. Um, I had journal, I had journaling all the way through the end of G June. So what I did was a few things. I was able to add a few little details, like on this photo right here, I added some letter stickers. And then on this photo right here, I did the same. And I did this when I was journaling. I was uh, just going through and doing my journaling and then I would see a little something and I would work on it. So I did journaling all the way through. Well, there's some journaling that I'm gonna go back and type, but I did do journaling all the way through the um, week 22, which is in May, okay? So then I've dropped everything in. Um, I filled out, let's see. I've dropped my photos in. And then there's a few spots that I'm actually going to add a 4x6 card and there's not going to be a photo there. And then like this is an insert. It was for our anniversary and I've never finished it so I have to finish that. But all my photos are in. So I got all of those photos printed. You guys, um, I said how, you know, I got 100 and 57 photos printed and then I've got them all dropped in and I have a bunch of inserts and like these I think I'm gonna take out because it's adding too much bulk to my To my album It's just adding a lot of bulk. I think I'll have to take th these out because they have ribbon and stuff I keep them. I just won't keep them in this album Okay, so this is an insert and that's why that paper was there because I added the cards and I haven't journaled anything. And then all my photos were dropped in and I just have to do an end page. So there's just very minor detail work in this album that I need to do and I will get there. So then let me show you. So that was all of June and it's pretty, my album is pretty thick. I don't know what to do about it. So here is July. I'm gonna have photos on the coordinating blog post so you can just click right at the top of this video. It will take you to the coordinating blog post and then you can check out the other um, ladies that are joining me for the hop. So I have my sticky notes up here that say which week it is because I've not even worked on title cards yet. I have my photos in. I have my calendar all filled out. So that's good because we're practically at the end of July. So I just want to share with you guys a few things that I add to my album that are like some of the extra things because I had quite a few extras to include this month. So this starts July and I really think I'm done with title cards as far as like each week. I think I'll still document by week but I think I'm just going to start putting a title card at the beginning of the month and calling it good. 
So here's some cards. We had a save the date card and then I got a congratulations card for earning Founder Circle. And then at the end of June, what I did is I printed out my, if you're familiar, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then you'll know exactly what this is. This is our reports that we look at. It's our activity statement report. And I printed mine out and I highlighted um, how many team members I added to my team this year, how many bonuses I got, I highlighted my sales, um, and then I just put on here that it was my second year with Stampin' Up, how excited I was, the different things that I earned, and I thought that would be really neat to be able to look back on and see in a few years. So this is an insert. This was the 4th of July. We went to a 4th of July parade and then Kayla went with some family to the fireworks. So then this was the rest. Uh, oh, and then we left for vacation. So this little insert, which is a design A cut in half, is when we left for our vacation. And I have two cards. I still need to slip in there and do journaling. Then this was the rest of our week. So that's how I tackle extra things that happen in our life. So you can see that right here is the week. So this is the beginning of the week. This is the end of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday, Saturday. Okay. So on this was Friday. This happened on Friday was the parade. The fireworks um, happened on the 4th. So that would have happened. Actually, I think they happened the night before on the 3rd. So this was um, Thursday and Friday. And then this happened Friday night because we left for our vacation on Friday night. So this was for Friday night. So then this was Friday. So this was our everyday photo. So even though I took all these photos on Friday, I still chose a photo for my everyday photo. And then this was Saturday. So then we went into vacation. So this week, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. So then I have an insert for our vacation. So even though I have everyday photos for our vacation, I still have like a little bit of like an overview of our vacation. And I picked out several photos and I did a stamp it up insert for you know just some other things we did and then I'll do some journaling and then I have an insert which this was a, a really fun insert this was in design Y which is a fairly new design and it has four by six four by six and then it has all these three by fours so we went to the lake the beach um it's a lake but there's the kids call it a beach and we went there on our way home, so I did an insert. And it was great because I had all these photos from that trip, but I didn't want, I knew I could cut them down, like it was fine. So that this ended up working well, and then I just have these two. I gotta get some paper and get that inserted. But then I have all these photos, and um, I really love the way this design Y turned out, and I'll have photos on my blog of it. And then this is the rest of our week. So then I have a Walmart receipt. And then um, I'm obviously missing photos. Like that's as much, as many photos as I got printed. So then I have, this is the week that um, there was convention. So this week has an insert because Kayla went to the lake with a friend. And then on the other side of that is the, when I got to FaceTime with Becky Higgins. So this was a photo of Wendy and I testing out the FaceTime when she was at convention. And then this is the card that Becky Higgins signed. And then this photo right here is of me FaceTiming with Becky Higgins. And then this is just a second photo of that same thing. Um, I did this photo because um, you can see a little bit of me in the photo. So that's why I included both photos. So that was an insert. And then um, I also printed out my email that I um, was accepted to Founder Circle. Obviously, I haven't finished the album, these pages, you guys. But I printed out my email. And then I printed out a screenshot of my name up on the screen. And then I printed out another email from my upline. And so I'm going to put all of that on one page. And then I have the back of this. And I actually... 
Just got a card from one of my downlines. Thank you so much, Roberta, for sending me this card. It really, um, it really meant a lot to me. So before I start crying <laughs> on this, I'll just say thank you so much for sending me this card. It meant a lot to me. And so this is a congratulations card for earning Founder Circle. So I'm just going to stick it right in here because it's in regards to what's happening on the other side. So then I just haven't got photos printed. I know we're all the way, we're already past all these weeks, but I just hadn't got them um, printed yet. So I'm going to have photos of most of this stuff over on my website. You can just click at the top of the video and head over there and check out the photos. If you're interested in being part of the Project Life blog hop, I would love um, more people to get involved. And all you have to do is email me. They're the last Saturday of every month I do this. And I just like to share with you guys what I'm working on. Um, most of the time, it's the last month um, pages, Project Life pages but you guys know sometimes I share the kids' album or my mom's album or something that I'm working on so anyways thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out with me today I hope you'll go over and check out um, the blog post the coordinating blog post and see the photos and hop along with us and I'll be back next week as always thanks so much guys I'll talk to you later